Salvete omnes! Today we are going to talk about the future tense in Latin. The future tense is very easy to translate. Just like in English, we'll use will or shall. So let's have a look at an example sentence. Quintus Athenas navigabit et multa dicit. Quintus Athenas navigabit et multa dicit. So this would say Quintus will sail to Athens and will learn many things. So we could also say Quintus shall sail to Athens and shall learn many things, right? So no problem in the translation. We do want to notice that the future tense in Latin has two sets of endings and we need to memorize both. So the first and second conjugation will use the endings bo, bis, bit, bemis, bitis, bunt. Bo, bis, bit, bemis, bitis, bunt. While the third, fourth, and third io, those conjugations will use the endings om, s, et, amus, etis, int. Om, s, et, amus, etis, int. Right, so we have two sets of endings that we need to memorize. So let's just have a look a little, a little more detail. So for the first conjugation, we're going to take the present stem. So para, for the verb paro parare, we would take para, right? So the present stem, everything before the re of the infinitive, and we will add the endings to that. Para bo, para bis, para bit, as we'll see in a second. For the second conjugation, we're going to do the same thing. So uh, we're going to take the present stem, everything that comes before the RE in the infinitive. So for moneo monere, it'd be mone, M-O-N-E, and we add our endings to that mone bo. So if we look at the third conjugation, we'll see that for the third conjugation, we're going to take just the root. Right, so what comes before the infinitive? So for example, for rego regere, we're going to take reg, right? So just the reg, and that's what we'll add our ending, uh, our ending on. So for example, the first person singular future active indicative will be regam, right? Regam. Now let's look at the fourth conjugation. So for the fourth conjugation, um, we will go back to, to what we did for the first and second, right? So we're going to take everything that comes before the RE on the infinitive, so the, the present stem. So here, for example, for audio audire, we're going to keep the A-U-D-I, audi, and we'll add our ending to that, audi um. So as we look at the third uh, I-O, or mixed conjugation, we're going to see that this is going to look just like the fourth declension, right? So if we look at our verb capio capere, the stem that we're going to use is C-A-P-I, right? Capi, and we'll add our ending to that, capiam, etc. So if we want to look at them all the way through, like the first conjugation, paro parare, will be para bo, para bis, para bit, para bimus, para bitis, para bunt. Our second conjugation verb, moneo monere, to I will warn here, uh, will be mone bo, mone bis, mone bit, mone bimus, mone bitis, mone bunt. And our third conjugation, rego regere, regam, reges, reget, regemus, regetis, regent. Our fourth conjugation, audio, audire, audiam, audies, audiet, audiemus, audietis, audient. And our third io, or mixed conjugation, capio, capies, capiet, capiemus, capietis, capient. So, of course, we're going to want to have a look at our irregular verbs too. So, the verb to be, sum esse fui, in the 
is also irregular in the future. So in the future, it becomes ero, eris, erit, erimis, eridis, errant. So this is something we just need to memorize. Ero, eris, erit, erimis, eridis, errant. Verb to go, eo, ire, is also a little irregular, uh, but we'll recognize the endings. This one goes ibo, ibis, ibet, ibimis, ibitis, ibunt. So ibo, ibis, ibit, ibimis, ibitis, ibunt. So that is the future tense in Latin. Valete!